All right guys, welcome back to another video. Right now it's 11.40 p.m. And I came to the facility tonight. I already had planned to live today. I didn't expect it to be this late. I'll be honest, I just wanna tell you guys kind of what happened tonight. Tonight, my girlfriend got into a car accident and I've been in an accident before if you guys have paid attention like to the vlogs and stuff, but I rear-ended a car as soon as I turned 18. So it was like June 15, I was completely at fault, completely responsible. Didn't get hurt or anything like that, but you know what I'm saying? I did get in a car accident. Tonight, I watched my girlfriend get into a car accident. I was driving on one side of the road, watched her on the other side of the road. If you've ever been in an accident, sometimes you get in shock. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes your first reaction is kind of disbelief. You're kind of like, I can't believe this happened. Oh my gosh, I can't believe what happened. You kind of start to like overstimulate it because you start to worry and kind of think about all the things that are about to happen. You know, whether your car is messed up, whether you're hurt, whether you're injured, where your stuff is, what people are going to say, what parents are going to say. Like, it can be very overwhelming. Today, I got to see the outside perspective of it and my girlfriend kind of dealing with that and interacting with that. And the one thing that I've been conscious about the entire night, sometimes we don't realize the emphasis of things until things things happen. But if you guys hear every time I pray, I always say, thank you God for another day. Or even when I intro the video, I say, welcome back to another video, another day, another chance to be alive. I know that can be like cringy or it can be annoying or even repetitive at times. But I think we just forget the importance and the 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 blessing of just living life and just kind of waking up every day or just kind of getting another opportunity to just be on earth. There are people that are in pain, that are living in pain, that are dealing with losses, constantly kind of in pain, that are constantly struggling. And I think sometimes we just get way too caught up and kind of miss the opportunity to just say God I thank you for the things he's already done and this was a great opportunity for me to be there for her and to share my love in a way that's not where I can fix it immediately where I can get the help she needs immediately where I can't be there directly for her but I was there and just grateful that she was okay you know what I'm saying but I pray that you are really taking your time to devote to God and really understand how awesome God is and how awesome life is I know this life can be tough you know what I'm saying I know things aren't always great but I think we underestimate the importance of giving our lives to Christ and really making an effort to spend eternity with him. But this isn't gonna be a super long video, but I just felt the need to come on here and just share, like, don't forget how blessed you are, even though it doesn't look amazing. Let's go.
think two days later. Right now, it's literally, it's 7.20. Today's actually my sister's birthday. I got some buddies that are about to pull up, and we're gonna have a Bible study at Lexi's house. I've been doing like a weekly Bible study with, you know, some of the people closest to me. It's been really fun, and we're kind of expanding just a little bit. And it's not like a, not like this super big deal, but really we just read together, talk about some things that are going on, and we pray towards the end of it. But yeah, we have a couple people coming over, maybe we'll talk for like 40. But yeah, right now, I'm just uh, trying to figure out what I want to talk about, what things are gonna be good. Yeah, we're gonna get through this, we're gonna have a good time, and uh, they'll be here pretty soon, so Lexi's trying to clean up her room. <laughs> Since it's atrocious. Atrocious is too far. <sighs> but yeah. All right, see you guys in a little bit. All right, we're going to uh, Hebrews. You blur up my toes. Hey, okay, yeah. bottom job. <laughs> Hebrews 11. I gotta get, get my girl one of these, bro. Get her the same one as me. Oh my God, it'd be aesthetic. No, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, All right, I'll start. Read it. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formatted at God's command so that what is seen was not made out what was visible. Go down to six. And it states, and without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. So let's turn to verse 12, Hebrews 12, verse 1. Right, so it says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with the perseverance that race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. I want to stop there for a second because I like where it said, um, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. Like just reading it, I just thought about people around us, how sometimes we'll do things that is kind of funny or things that are kind of pleasing to the people around us, but truly isn't pleasing to God and sometimes it's not really who we really are we do it anyway you know for a good laugh so that was 12 verse 1 that I liked a lot of times we try so hard to you know kind of fit in where we are or just be funny or enjoy the crowd that we miss an opportunity to be more like God let's go down to 7 it says in your struggle against sin you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood and have you completely forgotten the word of encouragement that addresses you as a father addresses his son it says my son do not make light of the Lord's discipline and do not lose heart when he rebukes you because the Lord disciplines the one he loves and he chastens everyone he accepts as his son. Chastens means like correction. Endure hardship as discipline. God is treating you as his children for what children are not disciplined by their father. If you are not disciplined and everyone undergoes discipline, then you are not legitimate, not true sons and daughters and all. I like seven because it talks about enduring hardship. I thought about my parents. We'll never really understand why our parents do certain things. And I think that's one thing I've only realized as I've gotten older. We basically gave them a bunch of crap, you know, for what they said to do, what not to do, where we can go and things like that. And as you get older, you're starting to understand. We submitted to them because they were doing what they thought was best. But sometimes we kind of hesitate submitting to God who was really the ruler of of all of us. So I really like that. And that was 12 verse 9. How can we eliminate some of our doubt? I'm trying to stray away from people that will constantly tempt you to believe otherwise. Because I think a lot of our temptations come from the people around us. I, I guess Popcorn Caleb. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like I truly do believe that people are products of their environment. One thing I can say for myself, with people I used to hang out with or I used to associate with, I saw a lot of the times myself fall into what they were indulging in. Even if I didn't, you know, usually agree with what they were doing, I, I, I would slip up or I, and I had to catch myself. I was like, yo, what am I doing? Why am I surrounding myself with this when I don't agree with it? That's like the same thing for me. Like the, being around the group of people, anytime I hang out with like the wrong group of crowd like I used to, just instantly like slip up and just end up just doing the same things they did and then constantly Consequences after consequences is just what got me out of it. The people you hang around have like a big influence. I will say, uh, ever since I started reading with people, I've kind of had a little more fire to read. I didn't realize it until like earlier today, just kind of having some people that you are able to do that with, that you're able to kind of share like, yo, I saw this, thought of you. Like I think that stuff goes a long way. How can we endure hardships better? Um, that verse was number seven. For me, what's helped is like, just trying to see the positive in it. Like instead of... <laughs> Instead of just like thinking about, oh, I can't do this, I can't do that anymore. Just looking at like what you can do, like like how I've been struggling. Like I've had more opportunities to go facility, work on baseball, go lift again. I mean, even hang out with y'all more helped me a lot. So, bro, well, for me, it's just like you just gotta go through. Nothing you can do about it. Like we're always gonna go through something. And like Cam was saying, like as soon as I'm going through something, I immediately think, okay, it has to end eventually going to that eventually and I know that there's gonna be positive that comes out of this what I try to think is like what can I learn from it or what is God trying to teach me? you don't go through something for no reason there's always a reason the way that's been the easiest for me like over the course of time has been like telling people about it not because they can do anything not because people can fix it but because I feel like I don't have to deal with it later when I was younger I could not talk to my parents I'd just get mad or I would get upset get real frustrated but I could never explain why 
the weight of just kind of releasing it out of me kind of just made me, you know, kind of lift that weight up a little bit. So I Whenever something pops up or some old pops up, I kind of just look at it as been through it before. I had to go through it or I wouldn't be the person I am right now. What things do y'all think that you deal with daily that kind of hinders like your growth? Me being lazy. I just don't want to get up, sit in the house all day and play the show. <laughs> and I want to come here, but I don't want to play the show. <laughs> but Has God ever disciplined you and you didn't know? Like That's what Lacey did again. At the time, bro, I thought I was about going through it, bro. And then you realize, bro, like, what was I doing, bro? <laughs> like, yo, like, no, nah, for real, though. Like, not even just, like, with girlfriends, bro, but, like, just people in general. You be going through it, like, oh, man, like, why should you leave, bro? But then, like, you, you really think about that, and he shows you through, like, so many ways, like, you see something later on, or you hear, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because, like, if I would have kept going where I was going, it would have been a bad business situation, bro. Like, I'm not even, like, kidding, bro. Either. It's like when that realization hit in, like, oh, he just give you that peep. Saying, bro, I'm like, ah, like, brother, what was I doing? Like, God, thank you for this day. Thank you for waking us up and just giving us another day, another chance to just be alive. Um, I thank you for bringing us together tonight. Thank you for getting us all here safely. Um, I pray that you watch over us as the week continues. Um, I pray that we're able to learn something uh, as we go forward, as we go through the trials and tribulations that you put us through. I pray that on a day-to-day -day basis we get to show your love um, in us. I thank you for everything you've done in our lives. Um, I thank you for everything you're going to do. Um, and I pray that we have this sense of gratefulness that carries us throughout the week. Um, and that day-to-day -day we are able to just be conscious of all the great things you've done, uh, no matter how we feel. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, he was alright. Y'all watched him three times. <laughs>